Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series Mastering the Basics of My Sonet Embroidery Software. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the Encore feature. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of My Sonet, or perhaps are just interested in finding out more about embroidery software, why not subscribe to our free YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video, I'm on a PC with the Platinum level of software installed, but Encore is available in all the paid for tiers of the software. So if you have silver, gold or platinum levels of MySonet, you will be able to use Encore. And, and of course, everything I show you on the PC, you'll be able to do on a Mac as well. Encore works best with a small embroidery design. So I have a super design of a dolphin loaded into my hoop. It's quite small. I put the size in as 25 mil. I'm now on the Encore tab. Now the default setting is always a circle with six repeats. So at this point I'm going to click preview. And straight away you can see that the software has put my dolphin into a circular repeat. What I'm now going to do is, in actual fact, I'm going to change the number of repeats to 12. Oh, goodness me, to 12. And then I'm going to click preview. And you can see we've now got 12 dolphins, in this case in a circle. Now, what I can do is I can take my pointer and do a left click within the two concentric circle lines. And I can either pull my dolphins in closer or in actual fact, I could also space them back out. There's also a white handle on the side that if I wanted to, again, I could either pull my dolphins in closer, so we've got a, a tall oval, or I can space them out, so we've got a wider oval. So you can see, we can actually do some really interesting stuff straight away. Over here, we've got a couple of different uh, buttons to do with flipping the image. So the default is a standard, don't flip the embroideries, but I'm now going to click the mirror. So what will happen is it will flip the designs. If I click preview, you'll see. So can you see my dolphins are now mirroring each other? And that's a really nice, easy way of actually building um, a, a really cute pattern. So let's talk about some of the other features on here. So I'm going to click on the line uh, button here and we've got various line options. If I click on the pull down arrow, you can see we've got a range here. Um, but I'm going to start off with number two, this wavy line. I'm just going to bring my repeats down to six because it will be easier to demonstrate the next part. And then I am going to click preview. Oh, and I'm also just going to uh, unmirror. So I'm going to just go for the standard view. And again, I need to press preview. And straight away, can you see I've got this line of dolphins? And we've got a couple of white handles on the side that if I wanted to, I could maybe pull or um, push that in. So you can see we've got this kind of lovely flowing line of our dolphins in there. So again, it's a really nice effect. The third option here is around the hoop. So if I check that, I'm going to keep with the standard view. And then I'm going to click preview. And what the software has done is it's put a line of uh, my dolphins around the hoop that I've got selected. In this case, it's a uh, 200 by 260 hoop. Now there's a couple of other things that we can actually do at this point. If we wanted to, I at the moment you can see this margin is quite close to the edge of the hoop. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just bring this up to uh, 10 and then I'm going to click preview. And you can see that that's brought those dolphins in 10 mil from the edge. And if I wanted to as well, I could click the remove corners and that will actually take the dolphins out that are in the corner and again I, if I click preview you'll see what I mean. And then finally 
I can check the uh, shape button and that means we can access the shape options. So if I click on the pull down arrow, you'll see we've got lots and lots of different shapes that we can uh, use to put our embroideries on. But on a cautionary note, you will find if you want to use a complex shape, that really your embroidery that you're putting into Encore needs to be much, much smaller. So in this case, I am going to stick with um, this triangle. And just like before, I'm going to click preview. Here we are, you can see that I've got um, my dolphins in uh, a triangle and we've got the white handles here that if I pull, you can see that the software is automatically calculating whether or not there's space for another dolphin in there. And of course, just like with the hoop option, I can check remove corners if I click preview. You can see uh, the software has taken the dolphins out on the corner. And of course, if I'm ready at this point, if I'm happy with the shaping that Encore has given me, at this point, I can click apply. It's grouped because I've checked the group box. That's the default setting anyway. But I can now either use the send to my Sonet feature to either uh, send the design to my cloud storage or a Wi-Fi enabled machine or of course I could go file and export if I need to put it on a USB stick. But there are some other ways that we can actually use the um, Encore feature so let me show you. So it might be you say well Karina that's great the dolphins loved what was happening with them but are you able to take more than a single embroidery and use it in Encore? And of course the answer is yes. So I've got two um, super design embroideries here. Uh, we've got a wolf and a bear. They're both quite small um, in terms of their height. They're around uh, 25 mil. I've got my circle uh, button checked here. Now what I need to do is I need to select my embroideries first. So I'm going to click on my wolf. I'm going to hold down my control or command key and then I'm going to click on my bear. And that has done a group selection. Can you see we've got a dotted line? We've got orange handles which shows me the designs are grouped in some way but the dotted line is very important and I'll come back to that in a moment. And just like before, I'm going to bring the number of my repeats up to 12 and then I'm going to check preview. And you can see that has put a line. We've got six of each. Uh, so we have six wolves and six bears. And of course, if I wanted to go um, check the mirror feature and click preview, my uh, bear has turned round so he's facing the wolf and of course just like before if I want to spread them out or bring them in or indeed uh, turn the design into an oval I can do very easily and again just like before I'm going to check the line feature and I'm going to go with the arch here and I'm just going to bring the number of repeats down to 10 and then I'm going to click preview. It's just like it's a bit of a squeeze with 12 and the let's go back to a standard view. So they're all heading the same way. Hit preview. And of course, just like before, I can either um, sort of squash my line down or spread it out depending on the effect that I want. I'm going to go to the hoop uh, button and I'm going to click preview. And here we have a slight difference. I don't know if you can see what we've got. My wolf was the first of my two embroideries and the software has put my wolf in the corner and then we've got a line of bears running along the side. So of course, if I remove the corners here, and click preview, I'm going to lose my wolves altogether. So let's just bring that back. But there is a way of using Encore and actually placing our animals 
together our grouped embroideries together and I'll come on to that in a moment and again just like before I'm going to go to the shape I'm going to stick with the um, equilateral triangle and if I click preview oh goodness me that's because my remove corners is still checked let me just do that and again just like before if I bring my handles up you can see that it's placing the bears along the side with my wolves in the corner so I'm just going to cancel that and we're going to go back to our two um, uh, original shapes I'm just going to click off them because it might be you say well that's that's great Karina but that's just two what would happen if we put a third shape in there so let me show you we've got the wolf and the bear have got a friend they've got a deer over here on the clipboard so I'm just going to paste that in and the shortcut for that is a control or command V it's popped my deer in here and I'm just going to move the deer along so you can see we've got a, um, a, a little row of our animals and just like before I'm going to hold down my command um, kit or control key and then I'm just going to click to select them all of course what I could have done was I could have gone to the home tab and gone select all let me just go back to the encore tab so I've, I'm going to click the circle now because I've got three animals here uh, as a group selection because we've still got a dotted line these haven't been grouped because there's three my repeats are going to work best if they are divisible by three so I'm going to pop in uh, in this case I'm going to pop in 15 and then I'm going to click preview and so you'll be able to see we've got five of each shape and as usual we can uh, squeeze them in we can spread them out we can turn them into an oval and if necessary although we are going to get an unusual effect because this is an odd number we could mirror them and of course over here because it's an odd number these two aren't going to mirror so let's see what happens if we click on the line and just like before I'm gonna uh, stay with line number six oh goodness me I did mean to let me drop my number of repeats down uh, let's go down to nine I'm going to click preview and let me do a standard view and again click preview and just like before you can see that we've got our embroideries in a nice smooth um, uh, uh, curve there so let's see what happens when we work with the hoop just like before um, I've clicked the hoop and I'm going to click preview and where's our deer the deer's not there and the same is true if I click on the shape and I'm going to stay with the the triangle our deer isn't there so if you do want to use multiple embroideries within Encore they will only work with a circle or the line format and it might be you say okay that's fine I understand that Karina but it might be you say Karina I really really want to use um, all three shapes within um, uh, uh, the hoop or a shape so let me show you what you could do so I'm going to cancel this out now can you remember I talked about the importance of the dotted line at the moment this is a group selection rather than it being formally grouped so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to do a right click and I've got the option here to group and now when I come back I can just like before I can uh, use a uh, circle repeat although I'm going to bring this down to six and you can see we've got our shapes going round there but in actual fact if you notice the line of them it's seeing those three embroideries as one whole embroidery you can see 
they're not curving around like they did before and that's best illustrated if I go to line and for instance I choose one of the wiggly lines and click preview can you see we've got this zigzagging happening going on okay if you think about what was going on with my dolphins when I was working uh, that they were really kind of flowing together whereas this kind of it's working like a zigzag but if I wanted to it is going to work in the hoop although not as nicely as when it was just two animals and again I'm going to go with shape and the triangle and if I click preview let's open this up you can see we've got a bit more of an effect although what I would say is because it's seen these as long sided shapes you might find that you get a better effect actually for instance going with something like uh, the hexagon so what are my golden rules for using the Encore tab the first thing I would say is make sure that you're using nice small embroideries you're gonna get the best effect doing it that way I would only group a design if you really really need to if you need to use Encore for more than two embroideries try and make sure that you're using the circle or the line feature you're just gonna get a much better effect and most importantly be playful and experiment with it try lots of different variations of your number of repeats how close they are together it's a great fun easy to use feature within the MySoNet software if you found this a useful film please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our future episodes happy sewing